this is gonna be fun. I can't wait to see how this one goes. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Akira and welcome to my channel called Zach Lal Books. Today I will be announcing my second read-along that I am ever hosting. This read-along is going to be called Plug and Read a thon. It's de de dedicated to all the electronic forms out there to read, like ebooks and audiobooks. Because sometimes we're not all able to either get physical copies of books or we just simply like electronic copies. This video is based all on all that. This readathon will run from March 10th to the 16th. And I'll be co-hosting this with Kathy. I'm not gonna attempt your last name because I doubt I would correctly pronounce that, but her channel and along with a bunch of more information on this readathon, like the Twitter, the reading challenges, and such like that will be all in the description below so that you can follow along and let's get started with the reading challenges i will not give you recommendations here i'll probably save that more for the my tbr so that i can easily write that down and have that all prepared then but here i'm most likely just going to give you examples or places where you can go to read some of these You'll get more in a second. Challenge number one is to use your library services. Believe it or not, if you own a library card, there's chances that you can use your library card to get free ebooks and audiobooks and a bunch of other stuff depending on the website or the app that you use. I use Hoopla. Libby, I know there's Overdrive, but it's pretty much just a reader version of Overdrive so that you're able to actually read the books without having to go through Overdrive. That's just going to send you right back to Libby. There's no difference between them. This is a challenge because not all of us know this, and that's fine. That's why we use this as a prompt so that some people... Who are do or do not know will find out and they're able to actually know that you can use it. Challenge number two is to start a new or lesser read by you genre. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just read something in a genre that you either never read or you typically don't read. Challenge number three. Is to try a popular book. This basically you're supposed to try a very popular book that's well known by overall anyone or anybody. This works best if you're looking for audiobooks for. Typically popular books are more quicker to become audiobooks because they're more popular, they're more well known I guess you could say, and there's higher chances of a uh, popular book becoming an audiobook just because it's popular. This helps more if you're like, I want to try a popular book, but I'm not one for more of an audiobook reader, much rather than a this of a actual like reader either you don't have time to sit down and read or or you just like audiobooks. Either way, this helps perfectly fine. Challenge number four is reread an old favorite. Basically, you're supposed to reread an old favorite. Like, if you read it in a physical copy, try an audiobook copy of it rather than. And I know there's another readathon that's that you can obviously combine this with. I think it's the re readathon. I forgot who hosted it, but you can double readathon. <laughs> Just, just to let you know. 
because I done that before. Even though it's kind of hard, and you got you gotta know where's your limit. If you feel like you can read one more, you can read books from more than one readathon. Go ahead, no one's stopping you. Perfectly fine. Challenge number five is to try a web comic. Web comics are just comics that are made by web users. They're never typically published, like actually published, and they're more for online. It's more easier to find than you think. Uh, one website you can use, I think it's called Webtoon, and there's many others that you can find free web comics on. These web comics don't even need to be finished. It could be in progress. Just as long as you take the time to read a web comic. I don't know about you, but I love me some web comics. It's just so nice to see the different art styles. Go with either if it's a slice of life, an adventure story, coming of age, no matter what it is, there's typically a web comic for it. And there's even a uh, Fan fiction web comics that you can pr this probably counts for too. No judgment. Do whatever. Just find the web comic and enjoy it. So yes, this we don't only has five challenges, for which you can double up, especially with the first challenge. One through four can all be doubled up, can all be combined to each other. Since you can find practically all books on that if you want to. Except for the fifth one, you're going to have to do a lot more digging to find a webcomic. I mean, unless you go on Tumblr, unless you go on Instagram. There are ways to find them. You just got to do a lot more digging for that one. So, that's it, everyone. Again, the readathon is going to run from the 10th to the 16th of March. Uh, so, that gives, you a, that gives you time to plan your TBRs. Anyway, I cannot wait for this readathon to start. I just can't wait. Be afraid to link all your TBRs down below in the comics. Just like to see what books people choose to read. And I hope you all join. Thank you for watching this announcement video. And I'll see you all when I post up my TBR. Bye everyone.